Another busy day for America's Junior Miss participants. Rehearsals continued for the production numbers that will be presented during the national finals. Tonight, the young women attend a luau at Gordon Oaks Retirement Home. So far, they've had a great experience on the Gulf Coast. It's been a blast. We've had so much fun together, and all the girls are such great friends. It's, it's a lot different than other systems I've been in, and everybody's just nice to everybody instead of being really... Um, we've been able to do a lot of rehearsals, which is a lot of hard work, but a lot of fun because everybody's working together and it's a lot of great times. Um, we've also gone and seen the USS Alabama battleship, which is great, we, and we sing karaoke. <laughs> you can see the young ladies perform on stage by attending the preliminaries June 26th and 27th. And be sure to catch the finals live on Fox 10 on Saturday, June 29th. As we've been telling you all week, America's Junior Misses are in town preparing for the big event. But what you may not know is all the behind-the-scenes work that goes into the show. Fox 10's Krista Marino takes a look at the folks who stay out of the spotlight but play a big role in making these girls shine. They're fastening the steps, raising the lights, and checking the prints. This is basically like building a house. Meet the 1996 stage crew, a group of men and women dedicated to making this theater come alive for the 50 girls taking part in the America's Junior Miss program. The stage hands are the reason that the set and the show are successful. If it were not for them and what they do and the effort and the talent of people like uh, Bob Sheffield and Bill Teague, and, uh, it, just, the, it wouldn't just come off and happen. Paul Christopher and his wife have been co-producing the program for nearly three decades. He says these workers play an integral part, and most of them have been playing that part for decades. Take 20-year vet Tom Weinecker. Every year we, we try to start thinking who the winner is going to be and maybe place some bets on that, you know. And Sometimes we're close and sometimes we're a mile off. Safety factor. Always safety. Leroy Moody has more than 30 years under his work belt. You can be sure he knows the ins and outs of this stage. Well, all us big ones get up there and stomp them down. If it don't fall, it's good. <laughs> but seriously, folks, this crew puts in their share of sweat time, working nonstop to get this baby up in just one week. Probably the nicest thing is to have an opportunity to work with the kids that are in the program, and it just gives you a real feel-good feeling. Now in just one week, these seats will be packed with people. Then it's places, everyone, for the junior misses. Time for them to strut their stuff. And time for these dedicated workers to finally sit back and enjoy. Krista Marino, Fox 10 Action News. And as Krista mentioned, the America's Junior Miss preliminaries begin next Wednesday night, and you can catch the finals right here live on Fox 10, Saturday, June 29th. Finally tonight, the Junior Miss has made a stop at Gordon Oaks Retirement Home for the Port City's version of a luau. There was plenty of food and lots of Hawaiian scenery for the 50 participants, and there was even an expert on hand, Karen Sabino, who was Hawaii's Junior Miss. So how did the Port City's version of a luau stack up? This is nothing like a luau. Luau's are actually held outdoors, and they dig a big pit and they throw a pig in there. So <laughs> that's what a luau is. And once again, don't miss the June 29th finals, which air right here on Fox 10.